This is Matt Templeton with the Templeton Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Realty. Today, I want to talk to you about the mortgage market and interest rates. But before I do, I want to point your attention uh, to a couple links. If you're searching for homes, look for every home that's available on the market on our website. Or if you're looking for an estimated home value, what is my house worth right now? You can click and get our free instant home value as well. And if there's ever anything we can help you with, schedule an appointment with us. Now back to our topic, which is interest rates. What's going to happen to them? Why are they going up? And what are they going to do in the future? Now, there's a lot of creative financing going on right now, and there's a lot of opportunities for you to still get in a house and make it affordable. So don't get fearful just because interest rates are higher than what they've been in the past. In fact, interest rates are still at historical lows. I know that sounds weird when we're talking about interest rates in the fours, fives, and sixes, but they're still at historical lows. The average over time is in the sevens and eights. Uh, so understand you're still getting a pretty good interest rate. But, but do understand the reason interest rates are going up is because inflation is going up. And when inflation goes up, the cost of money in general is gonna go up. There's too much money in, available in the market. And what the Fed is doing in order to stop inflation is they're, they're pulling money out of the market and they're also charging more for the, the federal cost of money. And, and in what that does is it, it uh, pulls money out of the market. It makes the desire to spend money uh, uh, or the, the ability to spend money less, less people, there's less money available. Right now, inflation and, and general inflation is too much money chasing too few goods and services. That's what we've had in real estate. Too much available debt, too much available cash, chasing too few homes available. The inventory has been too low, which is we've talked about before, the result of having too few homes built over the last 15 years. We didn't have enough houses built to make up for the population demand and the household formation. But understand, as inflation goes up, interest rates are going to continue to go up. As long as we're dealing with inflation, interest rates are going to go up. They may level off. They may have. They may take a break every once in a while. They may not go up as high, but we're going to see the interest rates continue to go up as long as inflation is going up. In the meantime, uh, there's different ways to, to battle this. One, you can pay discount points and get that interest rate down and get the seller to potentially pay discount points on your behalf. There's other interest rate products like arms adjustable rate mortgages which have been vilified a little bit but are maybe a good opportunity for you there's different ways that we can approach this to help you get the best deal so don't worry too much about interest rates rising make sure that you're managing both the price and the different loan products that you're looking at when you're trying to decide what you're going to do whether you're going to buy whether it's time to buy now with interest rates at the right time uh, give us a call so we can consult your specific situation and give you the right recommendations. Our, uh, our number is on the screen, so let's, let's connect sometime soon and make sure that we can take care of you. I'm Matt Templeton with the Templeton Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. This is a brief update on interest rates, but we want to talk to you more about it in person so we can give you specific recommendations. Mm -hmm.